Yes, lads, and welcome back to a new video style of Jebo transfer news and rumours specified around Everton Football Club and to see what we're about really in terms of the business for January. So we'll start off with the outs and then we'll move to the end. So we'll discuss each and every possibility of the scenario. But we'll start off with Cenk Tossin. Um, he's not currently rumoured to be out, but understanding that Rafa Benitez is in contract talks with him as his um, contract expires at the end of the season. Which means for me that clubs from January 1st can talk to Cenk Tossin to try and lure them to them. So he's just a possible in and out. If he's out, it'll be the end of the season, most probably. But another one that we're going to look at is Luca Dean. Obviously, big thing, scenario and around him. And for me, it comes to the point of now, obviously, Rafa Benitez and Luca Dean at the fallout and all that stuff. So, can we really see Luca Dean leaving? Possibly, because one of the ends that I will be discussing is something that's all but confirmed, but officially, if that makes sense, like Fabrizio Romano. Um, confirmed it himself, so it's all just to be confirmed officially by the clubs. So, yeah, the whole Luca Dean thing, obviously Chelsea, Newcastle, West Ham, Leicester, obviously Juventus and etc. Probably every club under the sun is interested within Luca Dean to want them to be able to get um, bring him to their club to say for the least. But for me, I'd rather have Luca Dean, but it, it's one of them. Blues, tell me what you think about that scenario as well. Is it a big scenario to talk about? But we'll start off with the ins and the first in. It's just all but confirmed officially, which is what I mean, by Vitaly Michaelenko. He's a left back, 22 years of age, and joins us for the fee of around, around £20 million from Dynamo Kiev. So, as I say, just needs to be all confirmed officially by the two clubs, but it's looks set in stone that Vitaly Michaelenko has come to Everton Football Club. Now, what does this mean for me? It probably means that Luca Dean is going. And this is why I asked for the Blues thoughts, because... I don't know, he bringing in a left back, is that to really say, well, Niles and Cuckoo's out on loan and he's bringing them up for an understudy to Luca Dean, or is it saying that Luca Dean's time's over and Michael Enko's our starting left back? So, tell me what you think, Blues. Tell me down in the comments down below what you think about that. So, the second one that we're going to be talking about today is Aaron Ramsey. Um, obviously, understanding reporter Aaron Ramsey is looking to be let go by Juventus, whether it's contract termination or a little tiny fee within the process of that. And the 30-year-old midfielder is linked with Everton Football Club. Now, what do I think about this now? If it's not the Adam Ramsey of Arsenal, I am not interested. And what I mean by that is Adam Ramsey of Arsenal, he was class. He was just absolutely everything that they wanted as a midfielder. But obviously injuries, etc, etc, you know, brought us halt to an end of Arsenal. Obviously going to Juve and stuff like that. So it's probably one that Arsenal fans didn't want to lose out on at the time as well. But it is what it is and nothing. Um, but tell me what you think down in the comments down below about Aaron Ramsey. Do you reckon it's a good transfer for you to bring him in or not? And tell me what your thoughts are around the player as a whole. But we'll move on to another one of Donny van der Beek. It's looking like it'll be a loan deal if um, the 24-year-old centre midfielder from Manchester United was to come to us. Um, obviously, the Daily Mail did speculate that as well. I think that was around the time, though, that Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, his job was at risk. And it was looking to really get rid of um, Donny van der Beek because he was supposed to the requirements for them. But in terms of that, you can't really juggle that about in terms of what really means the transfer because obviously you've got a new manager and stuff like that. But if he was to come to us on loan, I think it would be a very good signing, a very good loan signing, but we're looking for more permanent players than loan. But maybe due to our circumstances and the FFP and all that good stuff, it, it probably does come to the fact of if he was to come in on loan, it'd be a good loan signing. Another transfer we're going to be talking about, which is too linked into one, to be honest. So it, it's been reported, if we can't get Ainsley Maitland Niles on loan, then we'll be going in for the £5 million deal for Callum Chambers. Now, for me, I don't know. Ainsley Mitten now has been 24. He can play right back. He's quite versatile, you know, in midfield, right back, you know, etc., etc. So, he'll be quite versatile. But he's not the A-star grade quality that we're after, you know, at the moment. You know, I'd probably say Decore, Gomez, Alan are all better than Maitland Niles. And even John Philippe Gabamon's probably better than Maitland Niles. So, he's got someone who we need. Um, Callum Chambers as well. There's plenty of the, um, other defenders out there, so I wouldn't want him either. But let me know what you think down in the comments of every transfer that we're going to be talking about today. So another one that we're going to be talking about, I'm, I'm probably going to um, fluff his name up a bit, is Arsene Zakarin. Now, he's an 18-year-old midfielder from Dynamo Moscow, and he's meant to be highly rated. So he's got a market value as well from the transfermarket.co.uk of £8.10 million. 
So what does it mean? He's 18, he's highly rated. Bring him in on the under 23, see how he gets on there, give him the step up. But we obviously know Rafa Benitez doesn't like to give a step up to the youth players unless he's, you know, really pushed against the gate on that one. So it's it's one of them really and you know, if he comes in, you know, I'll be made up, but will he get the starting chance he probably deserves or probably a work to the wards? Not really, not unless there's about another injury crisis at the club that we've had already with 10 players being out. So another one we're going to be talking about today is Stefan de Vrij. He's 29-year-old defender from Inter Milan. Now, for me, Stefan de Vrij, he's, I don't know, he's, a, he's an excellent defender. He's a very, very good defender. Dutch defender from Inter Milan. So obviously he plays alongside Virgil van Dijk in the international stages and stuff like that. So we all know how good he can be. So, I don't know. I, I think this is a transfer that's just highly rumoured, but I don't think it would ever happen in terms of Stefan de Vrij wanting to turn down European football to come to us. But if it was to happen, it'd be a very good signing. You can probably give a round of applause to Rafa Benitez and the team for doing that. It's just a rumour. I don't know how high you'd rate it out of 1 to 10 on the scale. We'll move on now to Ivan Tony, 25-year-old striker from Brentford. He's one of another four people that have been linked with us. Um, I can't see him moving this window. We all know how good Ivan Tony is when he's got service. Like, look at him in the Championship last season. I know he's not flourished as much in the Prem this season, but the standards between the Championship to the Prem are massively, you know, in that stage of... I don't know, like the Prem's up here and Championship's like there. So it comes to that point anyway where if Ivan Tony was to come to us, it'd be a Dominic Carvert Lewin like replacement to say if Dominic Carvert Lewin was injured or anything like that. We wouldn't be missing out too much um, because we all know Ivan Tony is more than capable of scoring goals. Last three, which is, we'll start off with Kieran Trippier. He's a 31 year old right back from Atletico Madrid, the footy insider. Was a rumoured that Kieran Trippier has been linked with a transfer to Everton Football Club. Now, for me, it's possibly a good one. You know, the England international. He, I don't know, uh, how can I put it? It'd be a good one because he's probably, he is better than Coleman. And I think that any right back at this time and moment is probably better than Coleman and could start for us, apart from John Joe Kenny. But that's another point, you know, that we'll talk about. Um, You know, he's been to the semi-finals. He's won the BBVA uh, in the La Liga. Um, so he's he's won things at, at Atletico as well as making it obviously to the Euro, um the Euros final with England the um, World Cup semi final I believe it was with England so he's done things that you know people wouldn't expect here and Trippier to do you know especially with the career he's had at Burnley and then Spurs and then he made the phen phenomenal transfer to Atletico Madrid but apparently what he said to friends and stuff is that he wants to come back to England and could it be Everton we got two transfers remaining. The first one, I'm going to briefly talk about it. It's just a rumour, guys. Ross Barkley, you know, the 28-year-old midfielder, started his career at the Blues before going to Chelsea. Snaked us in that awful, awful transfer of, you know, 18 to £20 million pound going to Chelsea, running it down to last year in his contract to try and get as little fee as possible to the club. So fans won't be happy at that one but you know you can let me know what you guys also think about that transfer now another transfer and i'm probably gonna butcher the name but it's a ruben kazan attacker in the name of kavici i'm just gonna call him kavici um kavara stakela stakela kavici car kavar I, I, I don't know what you know call him kavici you know what i'm on about he's a 20 year old attacker from ruben kazan he's meant to be highly rated highly rated by the footy insider and other fans in Russia as well. Oh, there's one more transfer I forgot before wrapping the video up. And it goes by the name of Arta. Now, this is probably a big one that we want them to talk about. So, rumour has it that Juve want to swap Arta for Luca Dean. Now, we're talking about Luca Dean and all the clubs interested in him highly under the sun. Now, Arta is meant to be a highly rated Brazilian midfielder. But comes to the point of... He's come from Barcelona as this highly rated midfielder coming to Juve and has made surplus the requirements at Juventus. Is that an attitude issue at Juve? Is he not good enough? Um, and I think it, as much as it'd be a good transfer, but I, you know, with our current managerial situation, having Rafa Benitez and stuff like that, I do believe that it's probably not the transfer that we want. Um, because obviously if Arte does fall out with Rafa Benitez, then you know it's just gonna be made another Luca Dean situation and a waste of a transfer once again. So guys, I am gonna let you go um 
go now in terms of the video and stuff like that make sure you do like and subscribe and also if you're brand new to the video guys as well and to the channel make sure you smash that bell for the notifications you know for every time i do upload we're currently smashing it guys let's try and reach 400 subscribers before 2022 and that's my target for you also if you do have any thoughts on the transfer speculated make sure you let me know what you guys think in the comments down below um and stuff like that really you know i'm gonna try and do this once a week to so get a weekly update on the transfers and if any transfers do come about i'll also give my thoughts on that transfer as well but yeah i'm just gonna leave it there guys make sure you like make sure you subscribe and until next time guys see you guys on another video and up the fucking toffees